Welcome back, y'all. It's time to take another drive around Starbase to see what is going on in the most recent Starbase summary. Kicking it off with some sparks and another high base section remove. We've been seeing this for quite some time as they bring down the high bay piece by piece. Got some scrappy lumber in the front there, or not lumber, <laughs> scrappy scrap, I guess, uh, in the foreground there. They take it down those pieces. This is a really, God, the, the the color on this shot, you've got the highlight of the spark sort of shooting out there, some brake lights on the car, the nice, like, sort of crisp OLM, and then the purplish blue of the setting sun in the background there. The sun's already set, and that sky is sort of failing, or failing, fading down there. Just really cool. So these, that's some cutting or grinding. You can really obviously see the uh, grinding wheel go into town there, the way he's going back and forth with it. I'm going to say that's a grinding wheel and not a cutting wheel. There is a drilling rig being delivered on a just honking big low boy truck there. Look at that. Let me get up there and clean that camera maybe. What is that, a, a Halcom? Halcom? I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But going to drill some uh, massive piles. So you're not putting your load supported on the shifting sands of Boca Chica Beach. We can still say Boca Chica Beach because it's Starbase. But here's that uh, beam, sort of the spacer beam, the measuring beam, the, the placement jig, whatever you want to call it, being removed from OLMB. And then some paint work. We saw quite a bit of work with potentially the world's smallest roller brushes uh, for such a massive structure <laughs> over there preparing OLMB for the rollout. By the way, we'll be talking about that in just a bit. We had a ton of footage from that. Here's some more OLB painting. <laughs> OLB. OLMB. Launch Mount B. Like, look, it's a teeny tiny, it's not even like a normal size roller. It's like a tiny roller. I've used larger rollers to, to paint rooms in my house. But in any event, there's a hold down arm being delivered. I think it's going to sit here for a second. And then it turns around to the side. Oh, we didn't keep in the part where it turns around the side. I guess because you couldn't see it anymore. So for the OLM move, the OLM has already moved at this point. It happened late, late last night. In the interest of getting this video out quickly, uh, we did not try to include the entire order, the OLM move in this video. This covers everything up until the OLM was supposed to move. And then we're going to do like an OLL, maybe lift and move extravaganza where we have the move. We have cameras all over the place. Caesar was running behind the thing. We had a truck cam that looked like a star, uh, car chase. All sorts of stuff. So uh, that will be coming in a different video. But what was on the screen there was some chopstick testing. And watch this. Okay, you see the white arrow? Here, we're going to zoom in. You need to pay attention when you're driving out there at Starbase. I'm going to guess that that was a fully loaded cement truck. And the big brown spray that you sort of saw there was that happening. And look at the way that the, the margins of the road, the side of the road, right, the shoulder, if you go off that pavement... All of a sudden, you have a big hill, and that's going to catch your front drive tire, and it's going to pull you off the road, especially a massive load like that cement truck. You are likely not going to be able to get that truck back onto the road once those dr that one of those drive wheels sort of goes off that hill, and it's going to keep pulling you down to the side. Now, luckily, the wet sand there is also sort of like a runaway truck ramp. It's going to slow you down really quickly. But please, please, I know you're probably not driving a huge piece of equipment like that, but if you're driving out at Starbase, be very careful. Pay attention to the road. It's a busy area. Make sure you keep the wheels on the pavement. Don't try to go dodging potholes by too far or anything like that, right? Um, did look like the driver was okay there. I don't know if that, uh, see, that's going to be stuck in that truck forever. But back on to what's on the screen, some pipes. This is a generic shot of the OLM there, and then some pipes being moved around. And then we're going to run up this way towards the launch site. See the large yellow crane there in the first tower over on the left-hand side. Work doesn't stop. They're preparing this entire area for the OLM to roll in. You see how the, the permanent structures on the right-hand side of the street have been removed, right? And now it's sort of concrete and dirt in that direction, and they've, they've roped that off or whatever, right? They're going to need that room for the OLM to go in that gate. You can really see it here. Um, there's the second tower over there on the right-hand side, if I've got my bearings correct. I think I do. Yeah. And then just some more, uh, little tank farm work. But so much preparation. They're out putting out cones. They had some big steel plates. They were trying to grade or, or prepare the sides of the road where they may have to go off. 
uh, whenever they're moving out that second OLM. Look at that. <laughs> Once again, you've you've built a big star factory there, but now you need to change the star factory. So no sunk cost fallacies here. Just tear it down and keep going. There's some big load spreaders, the massive uh, shackle structure with the pins that go through it that help uh, distribute the load for lifting massive things. Look at those huge pins. Good grief. That's moving out from the assembly yard where the OLM currently was still in this video. All the way out to the production side, I think. Here's some rebar cages. You saw the big drilling uh, rig near the beginning of the video, that blue drilling rig come in. Maybe that is on the same project as these big rebar cages that look like they may be pilings driven way down or not driven the hole would be drilled you would drop those down and then you would fill that a pile is like a solid thing that you drive into the ground right more chopstick testing and then we're going to run over to massey's test site not much going on there right now uh, no ships or boosters or anything like that just the test jigs and a cell phone tower and some clouds Here's the structural test stand zooming in a little bit, but uh, we talk about this one quite often. No equipment on it right now. Maybe some work or calibration being done. Is that a welding helmet I may have seen there? There's the production site with a pipe getting unloaded from a trailer. Read that myself, just right on the, right on the thing there. And here you go, some of the last views of Pad B's launch mount. These are the final preps. Here you can actually see the SPMTs already sort of underneath it down on the bottom. A lot of truck traffic, so it makes it a little bit difficult there. Uh, removing a bunch of scaffolding. If you're following the videos regularly, you know that I've been talking about that. Watch for the scaffolding to be the removed. Didn't need all of the scaffolding removed, though. They did leave some of the side scaffolding that wasn't down on the ground or wasn't uh, clearance above the launch mount, but saw a lot of work on that. I mean, SPMTs, scaffolding being cleared, all of these things coming together to get that thing rolled out. And again, we're going to have a special video for that rollout. And if they do lift soon enough, uh, we will include the lift and installation of the orbital launch mount on pad B. It was just a rocket garden shot real quick. And then the Star Factory wall demolition continues. Remember last time I talked a little bit about, wow, do, do they worry about the air conditioning coming out that hole? Well, observe. There's an interior temporary wall that they've put up to keep the building sealed, even though they're tearing off the end of the building. Here we've got some improvements along Highway 4. This is with the production site behind you looking, or sorry, the launch site behind you looking back at the production site. A lot of water pipes there. Now time out. Did I just say that correctly? There's the high bay on that side. Now, you know something? <laughs> were we between the launch site and the production site, or were we between the production site and Brownsville? I'll go back and look at it later. I'm going to keep recording the video for now. Uh, that sidewalk actually does not look like a road. That looks like a mixed-use sidewalk or something. Uh, maybe you could jog out there, ride a bicycle or something. A lot of jogging and bicycling happening around Starbase. And then we're going to get some more views of the launch mounts. Oh, good grief. The rules not allowed to stop or pause or go back. We just have to keep forging ahead. And I second guess myself on the direction that we were looking there. That might have been with Brownsville behind us, though. I need to see if the Star Factory was in the foreground. I don't think I saw the... Mm. Anyways. <laughs> Look at the scaffolding. So much scaffolding. It's all over the place. What did somebody in the comments call it? They called it a scafungus? I think it, like, grows everywhere around the construction site. You like, need a special cream to get rid of these scafungus. You can actually see some of the huge uh, pulley system, the big cable spools in there, and the drawworks. There you go. Look at that. That massive amount of cable that is used to pull those chopsticks up and down. I guess pull them up and then lower them down would be the right way to say it technically. But in any event, lot of work happening. Of course, this is all pad B. You can tell because the angled gantry structure there on your right-hand side still visible here as well. Also, the tower's clean. Hasn't been rocket exhausted multiple times so far. So here we go. This is uh, going to be work on Pad B's deluge tank farm. Pad B tower on the right-hand side and then Pad A over on the left. There's that drilling rig saving uh, or wasting no time with it. I don't know if that's the exact same unit, but it's blue. And it has a big drilling thing on it, so jumping right into that work. A little temporary tent there, cable spools, lights. All the bits and bobs you would expect to see around a construction site here. 
Ah, the roundabout. I mean, there's a guy, there's cars. I guess a semi-truck can make that. It's going to cut that corner. We'll see. see. The important thing is there's no big curb in the middle. Nobody put, like, a decorative fountain or anything there, right? They're going to need put, to put something there so that somebody doesn't just go straight through that thing on the way to the beach not knowing it's there. But I guess we'll see what the finishing uh, accoutrements are on the roundabout. Orbital Pad A, like I said in the last video, it's not going to be looking too hot. Well, I guess there's pun capability there. It will be looking hot during launch, which is rapidly approaching us, folks. Currently, it looks like dates are shaping up around the end of the month if you're looking for a launch date. But as always, subject to change. I think they're coming in like 19, 20, 21 that week right now, but they still need to get that other engine or get that other ship tested out at Massey's so they can move forwards. Again, be on the lookout for the OLM to roll out and lift extravaganza video. My name is John. Appreciate y'all watching, and we will see you nerds later.